But by no means did I think Big Cam was big, right? Cam was. I didn't see. That's how he kind of described it. No, I didn't see what Big saw in Cam. Wow. Right? Wow. I'm, I'm, of course. Go on. Yo, Cam, you need to unblock me, bro. No way. You block me on Instagram, bro. You're lying. Nah, Cam, Cam, sensitive, my guy. Well, why did Cam block you on Instagram? Because yeah, I laughed at a joke that someone made about it. Cam blocked you on Instagram. Yeah. So basically, someone made a joke about him. I laughed. I put LOL on it, on his page, and he blocked me, fam. What's 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 the Instagram? It's uh, uh man to mine. <laughs> Yo, killer. Killer. <laughs> hey, I'm blocked this nigga, man. Plus to getting money on the east side. I dropped a pen and told that bitch pull up. Grrr, yo, it's your boy. Big Bank, Big Bank, Bobby D, the flair with my nigga. Yo, it's Jam Beasy. Jam Beasy, life in general. And air what? Yeah, you know what? This one, this one's an interesting one. It's going to be a quick one as well. So, on um, this week's recent Dream Champs with the old school gentleman, you know, it was Ice Cube, LL Cool J, and that. Um, I think these guys were backstage at a. Uh, I can't remember what the name was, but it was one of LL Cool J's events, and um, the the OG Un Rivera, one of um Biggie Smalls' business partners from back in the day, came and sat down with Noriega, and he he gave an insight into a few things. Now he made a comment that he did not see what Biggie saw in Cam. Now Jambizi, I kind of want you to, and I don't want to take the guy out of context in it, so. I'm gonna let him say what he's saying and then you can hear it for yourself, innit? You know what I'm saying? So listen to what the guy says, innit? You know, I know Cam tells a story about, you know, I was hard on him in the beginning, right? You know, and he was like, you know, maybe they was big and just passed. But by no means did I think Big Cam was big, right? Cam was, I didn't see- That's how he kind of described it. No, I didn't see what Big saw in Cam. Wow. Right? Wow. Um, um, of course, okay, like I told you the story. So why did you keep that going? Because, because the because word is that Big was signing Cam, Big passed away, and you honored Big's wishes. Absolutely. So why did you Why did you because, do that? If, if you didn't see what Big saw. Because. But yo, Jambizi, what's, what's your thoughts on when he's saying that, like, you know what? He did not see what Biggie saw in Cam. You know what it is with hindsight, you kind of you kind of see what he's saying. Like Cam is one of those kind of hit and miss characters. Like a lot of guys, some guys like him, some guys don't. Like it's always been like that. Myself growing up, you know, man, I was fucking with Dipset. Like, yeah, Dip everyone was, like, was, everyone was, everyone you know I mean? was. Diplomat was, was just that that source. Like, I was there with it. I was on that wave. You know, the whole Berg yeah. gang, Skull, everything that came yeah, after that. Yeah, I was there yeah. for it. You know, buying the CDs, double CDs and shit. Like, yeah, diplomats, you know, legends. But, but niggas uh, was fucking with the diplomats heavy. 100%. Bro. I know heavy. guys are rocking pink. You know, you, know you fucked like, more know. with the hood shit than the commercial shit. Yeah, of course. Apart always, from, always, apart always, from always. Purple Haze and maybe a few tracks from Come Home. Is it Come Home With Me? Come Home With Me. There was a couple oh. tracks on, uh, a couple but, tracks on Duke The God Project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but but that was all Diplomat Project. Yeah, all right, cool. All I them Duke that. The God Pro, you can't count them that. Well, all them 40 cow tracks open your eyes. There's only murderers <laughs> in this room, right? Hey, listen, man. With, but but when I, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny thing when you say hindsight, because I kind of get what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? And he seems like he's very seasoned in the game. I mean, that's Biggie's ex-partner. And I heard they raised about 60 million for that record company they was going to build together in it. Yeah. So this is the this is one of Cam's first mentors in the music game. And I when didn't see nothing in it. And you got to remember, this this guy's called these Biggie Smalls. Mm. Biggie, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas say I'm the wickedest, dare you the sticky dick, like, you know what I'm saying? This, that's Biggie Smooth, like, so he's he's seeing the caliber of a guy that Biggie is, and obviously he's comparing him to Cam. So when he says he don't see what Biggie saw in Cam, I can kind of understand what he's saying as far as lyrically wise. But if you're talking style, swag, look, 
rhymes or just straight who you are in the streets i think that's what more biggie saw in him yeah. than just like the overall package baby. yeah the overall package like you know what this guy he might not be like the the best rhymer but yo this is he's you can build something here. It's like the he's got something here. like he's got something you know what i'm saying this yeah, this facts. this niggas this niggas a hot ass rapper but when when people see comments like like a comment like this being made do you reckon some will call this hate or just critical analysis well it's gonna be a what's his name um unwants clout that's that's what it gets tagged under like anytime yeah. you give an opinion that isn't gonna be accepted by the masses it's it's gonna be you know you're, you're looking for clout so Boy. That's what I'll get tagged as, you know, we'll get labelled as that. Well, let's let's hear him one more time say what he's saying. You get me fuck. Let me find out. You know, I know Cam tells a story about, you know, I was hard on him in the beginning, right? You know, and he was like, you know, maybe they was big had just passed. But by no means did I think big Cam was big, right? Cam was I didn't see what that's big, how he kinda of described nah, it. Right? I didn't see what big saw in Cam. Wow. Right? Wow. Um, um, of course, okay, like I told you the story. So why did you keep that going? Because it was, the it word was, is that Big was signing Cam, Big passed away, and you honored Big's wishes. Absolutely. So why did you Why did you because, do that? If, if you didn't see what Big saw. Because. So hearing that again, like, you know what I'm saying? When, I, when the guy say he didn't see what Big saw in Cam, do you see it as a business thing from what he's saying, a business standpoint, or do you see him hating? I think he's seeing it from his point of view where he's trying to see basically he's trying to see if Cam is the next big. Yeah. And he just doesn't see it. But it doesn't mean that you can't have a career. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Facts, facts, That's facts, how facts, just, facts, 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 facts. I, I fully agree with that one. On 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 that one, it was very interesting when he said that because I I I know there's certain people that sometimes hear killer as a rapper and be like, nah, killer killer he don't got bars like that but for me it was always killer's tenacity and charisma that i liked about him plus with his witty bars it's funny as and well. and he's got classics bro no he does he does he he's does. got classics bro like kid, and he kid. had a genuine movement as well <laughs> internationally national like, he's got a movement Man, that man that. had the dipset what the euro gang all of that can't like. ever deny that with cam yeah that the dipset took over the whole of america and do you reckon undropped the ball with cam definitely <sighs> There's so much more money for him and so much more so much more productivity that could have come from that relationship so who yeah. knows where that could have went you know there was there was one more comment that um um nori made that um cam mentioned that his first album with un entertainment he felt like it was more of a un album than a cameron album and un also gave his response what did you think about Cameron making that comment and Un's response. Uh, every artist has a collaborator. Whether it was Biggie and Puff, right? Whether it was Jermaine and all of the collabs he did with his Chris artists, Cross. Yeah. right? Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones. Right. Uh, I guess it's that early stage in the career where Cam was, you know being molded i guess mm. you know you make it to a certain situation you're close to biggie and, and his obviously his codies kind of give you that steer into your career so you're gonna start listening more mm. so that might kind of, you know that changes how you view things it might even change the way you want to rap so mm. it's that kind of influence where you maybe just have to just stand out and be independent with it and just say look like i appreciate what you're saying but I got a vision for this thing. Yeah, you know? of course, of course, so of course. It just depends where you, what kind of character you have as an artist when you come into that door and you see all the shiny oh. fucking floors and you see all the big whips and the fucking downstairs and shit. So yeah, it just comes to the point where it's like, you know what? Like, what kind of artist are you? What's your stance? Have you got a strong character? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to stay with that. bold and stay saying, you know what? I'm going to keep pushing with my vision, or are you going to let people tailor your thoughts and make you say something else and start? wearing pink <laughs> i think i think i made a good few points when he said um back in them days it was always a producer artist thing like you had the puff and big 
Jermaine Dupri and Chris Cross and what or whatever, um, uh, so on and so forth, innit? Easy E yeah. and Bone Fugs, Sugna and Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you always had like a, a, a executive behind the a duo, yeah, behind the musician, even though he's the musician, there was always someone behind it. So, I kind of get when he says, like, you know what, that's that's that was his frame of mind when he was coming up with Cam's album. He was thinking, you know what, this is this is more of a producer artist effort instead of instead of like um an artist just wandering on his own because i feel i feel like un had a lot of pressure on his shoulders because he had to deliver products that would be close as good to big's product and big just died you understand big just died and not to say um kim sees and cam could never fulfill that but it was of it was yeah, just leave it like that it was a thing where like um Bro, he had he, he 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 felt like he didn't have a lot to work with, and it's understandable. But at the same time, who knew those artists would grow to be who they was gonna be? You know what I'm saying? And they say hindsight's twenty twenty. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, shout out to Cam, shout out to Un, shout out to everyone that started off with Big. You know what I'm yo, saying? Like, yo, side note, actually, no, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, wrap it up. No, go on, go on, bro. Alright, right, cool. Yeah, man, shout out to all them man that done it. Like, what? watch, uh, hopefully, undoes a Drink Champs interview. And, you know what I'm saying? Because this guy has a very good perspective. And I would like to know what Big, Biggie's business partner has to say. Especially one that was there seeing all these artists come up from their humble beginnings. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, what was you going to say, Jambizi? Yeah, I'm going to say, um, guys like uh, Un, they're around, you know? They've always been trying to... You know, pass down game. Most time, it's just one of the things. It's like you need to just, you know, take the advice on board and still be your your own character. Mm. That obviously, that's what makes you more happy. That's what makes you more productive. That's what gives you that passion when you just Facts. that own. You've got a grip on where you want your career to go. Facts. You know? So yeah, Facts. just always obviously have those conversations with the elders, touch base, but still have that presence of mind where it's like you can still make your own decisions still decide what you need to do facts you know I mean? facts facts now nah, i hear that but I, I, one thing i should have maybe have done that other um executives done that time and they done a lot in the future was just let our artists do what they do because that's why you fell in love with them in the first place you know what yeah, i'm saying they was, it. yeah they was doing what they did fair enough at the time those artists didn't know how to structure songs and make songs but Sometimes let them do what they do and then structure a song out of it. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy Bobby D, the flair, Jambezi in the building. You know what I'm saying, man? Oh, yeah, Tupac is cool. alive, baby. Pussy getting money on the east side. I dropped a pen and told that bitch pull up.